Wow, oh wow. Check out this collection of... What's wrong with that? <laughs> wow, oh wow. Would you look at that? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. It's about 90 degrees right now, but that is my kind of weather. That's exactly where I want it to be. I wanted to show you our next project. I'm sure you saw it in the thumbnail by now. We do have Sam's 2020 Denali. If you didn't know, Sam is the owner of Lime Ridge Automotive. They sell a ton of awesome diesel trucks. One of the biggest used diesel truck dealers around. They kind of have a niche where they sell trucks that look like this. Kind of done up and just looking really good in terms of some nice aesthetic mods. Almost all of their trucks have some type of modification done to it. They honestly don't sell too many stock looking trucks. A lot of the trucks they get look just like this. We are doing a bunch of stuff to this truck right here. Sam and I were back and forth and basically the goal here is to do a complete whiteout on this truck. We are going to take pretty much all the black textured and black pieces all over the truck. We're gonna paint that frost white tri-coat just like this. If you didn't know, this is pearl paint you look at it in the sun you'll catch some of that flake in the paint there and so that's definitely going to be a little bit more challenging than just if it was a standard white but as you can see sam already does have a couple little pieces painted on it to be perfectly honest with you we are going to redo them because they honestly don't look too good there's a lot of orange peel and texture that they left in the plastic so we want to go ahead and take all those and smooth them all out also back in here the paint is all cracked from whoever painted it, i guess didn't use the right paint and it's just not sticking well to this plastic. So let me go over exactly what we are going to do. We're going to do a full color match on the lower balance. We're going to do a color match all inside the black plastics there. We're going to color match these little pieces of black plastic in the fog lights. I think we're going to go with color matching the black behind the chrome here just to kind of set it off a little bit. We're going to redo this emblem because that is just vinyl tape. We're also going to go in here and paint inside this hood scoop. We're going to color match the black in there. We're going to do a color match on these badges. So right inside this black here is, is gonna get painted to match the truck. And then the mirrors are gonna get smoothed and painted as well. We have to get these all taken apart like we usually do. All in here is gonna get done and then we're gonna leave all the chrome accents going around. As I said, we're redoing those. We might have to redo the bottom little mud flaps below the flares. I just have to see how bad a shape they are in. As far as the rear bumper goes, we are gonna be re redoing this as well because it has that same grainy texture in there. And then we're also doing this top pad black. And before I forget, we're also doing this tailgate handle. <laughs> so it's really actually a lot of stuff. Like I said, just about everything that's black on the truck is going white. If you follow me on Instagram, we did a 2018 Denali, very similar to this in white pearl. We did a very similar job where we took away all the black texture and made everything smoothed out, painted to match the truck. So this is kind of going to be like the big brother to that truck on my Instagram. Anyways, without further ado, let's get this truck inside so we can get it all taken apart and get started on it. Right, guys and with that we got the front end completely disassembled as you can see here stripped everything off that we need to paint so next step here is to take out the black in this hood scoop we also have to take off all the chrome on the grill all this stuff needs to come apart so we can paint this itty bitty black back in there we also have to take off the emblem as well as the little camera in there and then on the front bumper we got to get that completely disassembled pretty much everything has to come off so we can get all this disassembled because the brackets on the inside are actually covering up these fog lights. So we're not going to be able to take these out until we take off the brackets. But this will actually have to wait because we want to flip the truck around and get the rest of it apart. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so we got the back half disassembled here. Corey is just gonna work on popping off these mud flaps. I know I said earlier that I wasn't 100% sure on if I wanted to paint them, but after looking at them, they are grainy texture plastic, a little bit of black in there, like there wasn't even painted. We're definitely gonna redo those. We want them to look just like the factory does right there. As you can see, that does not look like that. So we're gonna make it look like those. We were kind of sitting here talking about the technology in these trucks, just in the rear bumper and the tailgate handle here. It's honestly more of a huge button. This thing right here, 
had four wires on it. One wire right up top there for the multi-pro tailgate. One wire on the bottom for the normal tailgate. The camera wire and I guess the light wire. I believe that's a little light right there. But it's just crazy how much technology is kind of packed into something this small and it probably also increases the price of the part if this was to ever break. We do have to take out all those little buttons and stuff so we're going to work on that when we do the rest of the disassembly. Even in the rear bumper here between the hitch now having these two options for the accessory cameras in the trailer. Now we have one, two, three. We have a large junction box that goes behind the tag. That has two wires on it. And then we had a normal wire that ran for your tag lights. It's just crazy. And, and honestly, trucks have just come such a long way in 2020 here now that we have all this technology. I guess that's also what you pay for when you're buying an $80,000 truck. So let's continue with the disassembly on this truck right now. And just like that guys we are slowly closing in our workspace around us here as you can see we got a ton of parts for this thing just disassembled all over sorry if some of the background noise from the polishing and the fans are coming through here so we got everything pretty much taken apart the last step is just gonna be these mirrors so we got to get the trim panels taken off in order to do that so we can get the mirrors off and then I did just get off the phone with Sam from Lime Ridge I was talking a little bit about these taillights he had these I guess like vinyl films and we were just kind of a look at there's a big bubble right in this corner when you do a tint like this or vinyl it's very very difficult to get it stuck in the edges kind of like when you see bumpers and stuff that have been vinyl wrapped with doing it in one piece to get it all in so we are going to take all this off on the taillights and we're going to apply our tinted clear coat to the taillights so it's going to look just like this but you're not going to have any issues where the film is coming off because it's actually a clear coat just like the rest of the truck so anyways let's get to doing that stuff and then we'll get these taillights out and that's should be everything. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are all done with the disassembly off of the truck. This is what a 2020 looks like with pretty much everything taken off. Bumpers, grill, hood scoop, side badges, mirrors, bed steps, mud flaps off the bottom, rear bumper, tailgate handle, and the taillight. That is good news for sure. We pretty much don't need the truck anymore. At this point, we primarily just have to work with all the parts that are sitting right in there. I did want to also show you guys what the door looks like after the mirror is pulled off a lot of people talk about deleting these and then putting in stock mirrors up here that would be extremely difficult these doors are actually aluminum you would actually have to have a piece of aluminum made that is just this size and then weld it in and then pretty much fill that over and in doing so then you would have to paint the entire door and then blend the paint into the fender to make it look right and then after all that pop off this cap and figure out how you can drill holes into the door and hope that the moldings and stuff like that are all the same to be honest it would just be a ton of work oh and i should also mention the wiring in there too the wire is only a certain length that's meant to go right there figuring out how to get it up here honestly the work i think to the benefit it's not a good ratio i think that when these mirrors are color matched they honestly look really good in my opinion so that's just what we're going to do here i talked a little bit earlier about the price of this truck probably an eighty thousand dollar truck just off the top of my head being a denali but i wanted to show you something and it's honestly it's just becoming more common the more that we go through and, and find this stuff let me take you back into one of the pieces i want to show you what we found here is the side badge that we pulled off because like i said earlier we have to paint that black in there and just kind of over a quick glance here flipped it over and dun 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 there it is made in china <laughs> gm stamp too it's an original oem part just made in china prime example eighty thousand dollar truck still putting chinese parts on it not not bashing GM at all because don't get me wrong Ram does it as well and I'm sure Ford does too I don't know I don't even know what to say about that I, I would hope that these hold up and are as good a quality as the rest of the stuff that's off the truck that's made in USA and Mexico and Canada as this truck is pieced together from honestly all over just Chinese stuff it's just it is what it is there's nothing I can do about it but I wanted to kind of show you made in China crazy with that being said guys we are going to go ahead and get all these stuff taken apart from here let's get to working on that right now
Wow, oh wow. Check out this collection of, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Would you look at that? We got everything disassembled here, guys. Check out the amount of stuff that we are doing to this truck. I mean, literally just about out the door of parts here. As you can see, all the black texture is what we're actually painting, but we actually have to also redo the white. We got all the white pulled off, as you saw earlier, because whoever painted this last left all the texture in the parts, and honestly, that's just not acceptable here. There's no way that we can do that. All this stuff is going to get redone pretty much up to our standards i should say we got to get it all cleaned off as you can see there's a good bit of dirt and mud and stuff in here i mean the paint is literally just cracking off it's pretty sad that there is shops out there that'll do this stuff and charge you for it and then expect that you know you'd be happy with it it's just pretty sad but anyways yeah keep walking around here i'm not 100 percent sure if i know what i got myself into when i did this this is quite a big job as you can see just by the stuff laying out so we still have to get the mirrors apart we still have to get all this tint taken off the taillights i showed you guys earlier that this is vinyl there it's kind of peeling up in there and we got to peel all that off yet corey is working on getting these emblems apart as you can see he is drilling them out he has to do that to break the factory plastic well so this is what it looks like when it's all taken apart. We have to do this in order to paint because there's no way to get inside and mask all that up. So we have to take it apart just like this. He still has to do the side badges. He's going to do the same thing, drill those all out. Let's get to working on that. And then we're also going to get the mirrors apart, like I said. So let's do that right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video. This is Peachy Froy here. Just going to take you on a quick demonstration here how to get this vinyl wrap off of these tail lights. The person who did them did a pretty good job. There's just a couple little boogers in here. It's hard to wrap this stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a good day because we have finally finished all the disassembly work for this job, which is always good news. So as you just saw, we got the 2020 mirrors taken apart as far as they can go into their corresponding pieces. This is gonna make it a lot easier to paint this way. It's almost impossible to paint it the other way and still get a quality job because all this right in this area here, that's all not even visible unless you fold the mirror out. It's definitely the only option to take it apart this far so that way everything can get smooth and also paint it oh actually just realized i didn't take that light out i gotta do that just just one little more thing also guys we got the taillight tint off as you can see that peeled off pretty nicely there's a little bit of adhesive residue that we need to take off yet but that's not a big deal we'll just get some solvent on that and then these guys will just need to get sanded and prepped same way that all this other stuff is getting prepped we actually started on a couple pieces already started to kind of sand out the pieces that were already painted but as you can see we still have a good bit of pile here left that needs to go white pearl but before i wrap up this video guys i did want to show you one of our projects here this is a 1986 toyota pickup truck we are doing a full restoration on this truck at pretty much everything except for the motor and the interior we are going to restore as you can see it's already taken apart a little bit the bed's right over here i am filming this project you will see it in the upcoming videos but this kind of gives you a little sneak peek as to where we are with it i won't be releasing that for another couple of weeks so make sure you stay tuned for that for today's video guys that is where i'm gonna have to wrap it up so i hope you enjoyed please make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon for further notifications and we will see you guys in the next upload